How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, we have a um, press conference with uh, Jasmine Barnes' family. And we're just going to get right into it. We're going to discover some new things. And then I have an article to share with the royal family, just a little bit, not too much. You see, this is a little bit of a long video. Last How old are you? First, fifteen. Fifteen. You've met with investigators. They said they wanted to talk to you about the details to hopefully get out a sketch. How did that go? Mm -hmm. You haven't done it yet. Can you guys confirm that Chantel O'Neill has um, had a representative drop off a check to pay for funeral? We can't confirm that. We cannot confirm that. LaPorsche, how is your family doing? How are you doing? How is your family? Oh, when I say this is a lot, this is a lot. This is really a lot. Like, you know, it's y'all are making us relive a situation that we haven't even mourned yet. So, it's a lot for us. How grateful are you for the outpouring of support that you've seen around the country? $100,000 reward. Man, my reward. heart cries out to all the support that we have been getting from everybody around us. I mean, I didn't imagine it was going to be like this. I really did not imagine it was going to be like this. It's, it's awesome. And I thank everybody. How are We've all heard from you. I mean, even when you were in your hospital bed, LaPortia, you were begging, you were doing everything a mother could to put out a message to motivate somebody to find her daughter's killer. The reward is up to $100,000. Celebrities, DeAndre Hopkins, everyone is sharing Jasmine's name. Yes. What do you think it's going to take to find her killer? For him, for, you know, I feel like it is not going to be no amount of money. It's not going to be no amount. Of, it's going to be have to be him. It's going to be him. His heart is going to finally get to him. His conscience is finally going to get to him. After he see my, my child face go across his TV so many times, he's got he's going to turn himself in. If he's watching right now, what would you say to your daughter's killer? Do the right thing. I know you're hurting just as much as we're hurting because I have strangers, outsiders from all around the world, and they're crying every time they see this story, so I know you're hurting. Just do the right thing so you can be at peace, too. You said that you believe you did not do anything to provoke this. Correct. In your heart, do you think this could possibly be a hate crime? Yes. Because as from what I'm hearing, you know, and I'm not, I haven't been on social media. I had to deactivate my page. I have, you know, I'm not even looking at the, none of, I haven't looked at anything, you know. And when my family come and talk to me, they've been telling me this, what they've been seeing and, and looking up and everything like that. And I didn't heard it was a killing before Jasmine and it was a killing the day after Jasmine in the same area. Off, off of 90 in the Beltway. And it was a black black person and it was a white person doing the shooting. So I don't know if he's out here sick, you know, doing this because he's getting off to it or whatever it is, but he's taking innocent lives and it and it's not fair. It's not right. What what did the gunman say to you, if anything? Did you did he say anything or was it just that he, quick? It was that quick. I didn't even I didn't even see him. I didn't see the truck. I didn't see anything but my but shattered glass and bullets coming toward my car. How good of a look, dear, did you get? It was like a look into his car, like you know how when you're driving and you just look in somebody's car and y'all make eye contact and look back. It was like that. That quick? What, did what you see did a you license see? plate? No, I didn't see. Did you just, if you could tell us, yeah, what did you see? I just he was white and he had blue eyes and that was it because he had a hoodie on so I couldn't see his hair nothing like that. An important detail that I think has been misreported up to this point. Uh, no one has reported seeing a beard. Um, there's a, a, at best a stubble or a five o'clock shadow, but there's no beard. Blue eyes, a fairly thin man, uh, according to from what they could see in the in the brief moment that they had had a look at him. So that composite sketch is going to become really important. Just, just one person in that car. No glasses. Just glasses. glasses. <clears throat> No question. And you mentioned earlier that you had used your arm to try and shield one of your daughters. Was she the one that you tried yes. to shield? 
how grateful are you that she's sitting right yeah, next to you? I'm sp speechless. Like, I couldn't, I, I, if I could rewind and if it happened again, I'd rather all four of them be sitting here beside me. You know, I love all mine the same way, the same way. I thank God that he did leave me three, you know, that I do have three to look forward to, but at the end of the day, they can't replace their sister. They are all separate individuals. They had they all separate personalities. They had they all separate. When we get in the car, they all put on their type, what they want to listen to, you know. I deal with four different personalities every day and females at that, so it's kind of crazy, you know. And then I'm a female, so dealing with my personalities, <laughs> and they're all part of me. So it's like one has my goofy side, one has my mean side, one has my silly, you know, it's crazy. And we're missing our, our, a piece to our puzzle. Chris, man to man, what would you say to your daughter's killer? What's your message to him? You have been pumping out every personal photo of Jasmine you can to share. We know you want to keep your daughter's story in the minds of the country, really. You've been so silent over the last couple of days. If you could talk to this guy right now, what would you say to him? I would say what, what I've been saying. Justice will prevail and I'm going to be leading the charge. I'm, I won't stop. I won't quit. I don't care how long it takes. Somebody, he's going to slip up somewhere, Somehow. and I'm going to be there. And he's, he's, going, he's going down, for sure. He's going down. This would not be a cold case. Well, of course, we're, we're hoping to get a sketch from authorities soon about this. How hopeful are you that that sketch will help break this case? Whether or not it helps or it, it don't, He's gonna be found. He's gonna be found because whether, like she said, it was just a. So, what can a child remember from the? And the sun wasn't even out. It was still dark outside, you know. So what? What can she give you that? She really can't give much, but she's gonna give her best. And that's why I'm so proud of my baby because after a traumatic thing like that, she shouldn't remember anything. You know what I mean? She should, yeah. should block something out of that, out, out. You know, stuff like that, she should block out. With the databases available and the technology, are you surprised that he has not been apprehended by this? Yes, because we were right off the Bellway. The Bellway has cameras everywhere. We were right by Walmart. Walmart has cameras. We were by Bank of America. It's a bank. It has cameras everywhere. Can you just kind of walk? I don't. I know. I, I don't want you to have to relive the shooting itself. Your morning started that day on Wallaceville on the Beltway. Did you get on the tollway? Were you constantly on the feeders? Like, if we could walk our viewers through all we, of the cameras. We stayed on the tollway. I mean, we stayed on the feeder the whole time going to Joe V's. There was no need for us to get on the Beltway. What was the first main road you all, you all took at 6:30 that morning? Tidwell. Well, we took Tidwell on up to the Bellway, and when we got to the Bellway, we, we made a right and went on up to to go to Joe V's, because Joe V's is right off the feeder of the Bellway. And your daughter was in the passenger seat. I understand you said you don't know how are you. I'm fine. How are you feeling? I'm great. I'm doing great. How are you guys holding up? We're, we're making it. What do you think about the community leaders and the community activists? Do you think this is connected to the 2017 uh, shooting? I'm, I'm, I'm starting to believe that. I really am starting to believe that because it's no coincidence that these type of shootings and the same description of the same guy besides the beard missing is going on. The same area, you know, same kind. It's got to be, it's not a coincidence. It's not. And like I say, we didn't do anything wrong to this man, so it was something in his mind that he had planned on doing beforehand. So this is something that I believe was a hate crime. Are you pleased with the job law enforcement has done so far? I'm pleased with the job that everybody's doing, including y'all. Because let's talk about that. On Saturday mm -hmm. is this community rally. Folks want to go door to door, car to car in that entire area of West Harris County. Yes. Will you, will you all find the strength to be there? Do you yeah. think it's going to make a difference? Yes. Everything makes a difference. 
every step, every camera, everything makes a difference. You know what I mean? Because it's like, the more y'all put us out there, the more people's going to feel our pain. And they're going to want to find this guy. And it's crazy because it's like, I didn't expect for this to be going on. This is a lot. And then the sympathies on everybody's face and I'm, as I look around, mm -hmm. I know y'all are here to support us. Just to kind of remind everyone of, of Jasmine and, and, and who she was, can you tell us any more about her? Yeah, Jasmine loved music. Jasmine loved, she was a lovable person. She loved dressing up. She loved, you know, she was already, she had told me she wanted to be a teacher. She already tried trying to sit on my lap and drive already. That's how <laughs> much fun Jasmine is, you know. She does not stop. She does not stop. And then she she has a six-year-old sister that she has to keep in line at all times. So she's always yelling and screaming, playing teacher, dress up. She does the most. She's, she's Jasmine. What was she like, Alexis? She was fun. She was always bossing people around like that. She was always trying to be the boss, and she liked eating too. Like she liked to eat a lot. <laughs> she liked to eat everything. 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 And what, what would you miss most about your sister? Her smile. There she had the no beautiful smile. Loss from um, being a child. But how? What is the toll portion that this is taking on your daughters? Man, my baby, I look around at them. I have one, my uh, 14, well, she'll be 14 next month. And uh, she haven't dropped a tear. And it scares me. It scares me because I don't know what's going on in her head. And then my baby, she's like, Mama, I talked to Jasmine. And I'm like, you did, baby? What did she say? And she say she says she loves you, and I'm like, and I and I know she's not telling the truth. She's not she's not lying. I know it's the truth, you know. And it's like, how long are they gonna have to deal with this? How long? And she's my. I mean, when she when I say this is my backbone, this is my backbone. She's there for me every step of the way. Anything I need, any move I make, she's there. But she's only 13. 15. <laughs> like, I want you to go back down. <laughs> she's only 15, and she can't, you know, I'm not, how much can she take? Have you broken down? Have you cried? Mm -hmm. My 13-year-old is the one that didn't, haven't cried yet. She has not, you know, doing the shooting and everything, she cried, but... After that, she hadn't cried, and that's kind of scary because she's not showing any emotion. The thing that got me was the baby girl and the story that she told me that news that she has not had. It has me very concerned because she was close. She was sitting right next to her. And she, she saw it all. She saw it all. And she got to remember that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm up here. Yeah, I just have some questions. <laughs> um, I was wondering, can you talk about where everybody was sitting in the car? We have assigned seats. <laughs> we have assigned seats because my six-year-old, Unique, when I say we gave her the right name, she's very unique. Unique does everything. And she's raising the window down. She's waving out the window. She's picking us up. She's throwing stuff out the window. You know, stuff like that. So she cannot sit by the door at all. So... Uh, Always, the oldest is in the front seat, and then you have the second to the oldest behind the passenger seat. You have Unique in the middle, and then you have Jasmine behind me. So that's why the two of you were hit. That's why two, that's two were hit. The drivers. Mm, yes, the driver's ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And how many? Can you remember how many gunshots there? I know, but I know he finished his clip. He finished. He emptied out his gun. I know that for a fact. You all were driving a silver car, popular, just like everybody. Cars are. Yeah. Any uh, mistaken identity? Any like it's so it's just so early in the morning. I have, I don't have no tint on my windows. Did anybody else drive the car where you borrowed? Like, mm -hmm. no. No, I have. You know, I. We pretty much, if it's not 
us, the family or something like that. Like I probably have let a friend, you know, go to the corner store or something, but like I say, I don't I don't deal with people that would do something like to get our life to, you know what I mean? I would pray and hope that, you know, nobody would do anything like that because that's not the type of person I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I love my life, you know, and I, my kids, I love my kids to death, you know? So something like that, I don't think it was no mistaken identity or anything like that because that man looked right into my car. Mm -hmm. He looked in my car. And it's worth noting uh, that, that from what the story um, yeah. That has been told by the family that the shooter started off on the passenger side of the car and he drove all the way around to the driver's side of the car so he had a chance to so look in look to in and, and think going. about yeah. what he was going to do you so know you changed lanes in the frontage road he, he changed lanes. lanes so you were in the middle of the three feeder lane yes he stayed in the car the whole time he never got he out. never exited the he car he changed in front or he went behind he went behind to change it over to the driver's side yes ma'am but you had noticed Someone in your vehicle had noticed him first on the passenger side? On the passenger side. She noticed him on the passenger side, and my 13-year-old noticed him coming around. And the, so she noticed him on the passenger side. Did she turn to you and say... No, because she didn't think... He didn't, he, do, anything he didn't do, anything. do anything to strike her attention. Was he seeing right up with you guys, Alexis, you know, when he keeping the same speed as you when he was on the passenger side? He was on our passenger side at the light. At the light, so he was sitting still with us. There at Wallaceville Road in the Beltway. Yes. Did you know he was left-handed? Left-handed? We didn't say anything oh, about yeah. him being left-handed. Oh, no, but him being on... I, I get the insinuation you make, but we don't know what hand he was. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Did you see his face? Did you see his demeanor? Was he angry? Calm? Like, sick. Like, I, like he looked sick. Revolver, a shotgun, you don't know? No, no. So he and had a chance to know that you had kids in the car? Yes. He had enough time to know that we that it was a woman with kids in the car and everybody say I look pretty young so it's like he sh should have knew that we you know th those were kids and again the description and is so important so he what not no beard and no eyeglasses no eyeglasses was he wearing a red hoodie no he was wearing a black hoodie a black hoodie yes he was wearing a black hoodie and why does he look sick what you that's what I was gonna try to explain to you I think she means by looking sick is pale in the face he was like then something cheap bones. Yes, yeah. And then the look in his eyes, he wasn't normal. He wasn't normal. So but you, how much do you want him caught so that no other mother will have to go through? You don't understand. Like, I, I'm praying that the phone ring right now as y'all in here filming us that he's been caught. That's how much I want him to be caught. Like any second, like yesterday, like, you know, the day it happened, I wanted him to be caught. And you believe he will? Yes. With every, all the support that we getting, yes, I do. Okay. I really appreciate you all Thank coming you. out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I just want to get it. So Unique is six, Jasmine was seven, Ebony is 13, mm -hmm. and Alexis is 15. Correct. Okay. My name also, it don't have an E in it. It has no E in it. My name doesn't have an E in it. It's Say a it again for me. A-L-X-I-S. Thank you. Thank you very much for talking to us. I know it couldn't have been easy. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Just stay for one second. How are you doing? I'm very long. I have the contribution. I'll send it back to you. Please, read all of you. Thank you. The pony, the sh my Mary, the sheriff department is at the door. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to cut this short. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just when I talk about the two of you together, just okay, my royal family. Um, this is literally hot off the press, and um, you think I like people yours, do though, dumb things too. all the time? Excuse me for that, my royal family. Um. I want to get into something a little bit more before I close out. It's pissing me off. Now, we clearly heard, my royal family, that there's been more shootings before and after the incident. So they in the middle. And um, before I was going to report this, um, this is what I want to show the royal family. 
Now this is about an hour ago. Sheriff holds off on confirming whether race was a factor in black Texas girl slaying. Okay, so they clearly state that there's somebody out there, madman, out here shooting folks. And even after the fact, there was another shooting and they didn't even report that. They being hush hush. You know, this is not amazing. I'm not amazed when it comes to us, the type of fuckery that happens. So authorities in Texas continue to investigate what prompted a weekend shooting that killed a seven-year-old black girl after activists on Wednesday claimed the incident was racially motivated. Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said during a news conference that the investigation into the death Sunday of Jasmine Bars is focused on collecting evidence and developing leads. A determination on motive will come later. Real slow to move. I ain't gonna read this all. We are not tone deaf bullshit to some of the concerns in the community where this come where this could be potentially race related, Gonzalez said, explaining that role rage could be another consideration. But he added that he doesn't um want speculations on a possible motive to limit the scope of an investigation. Oops, that jumped on me. That ain't good for a dyslexic person. Where did it jump on me at? Let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, a motive to limit the scope of an investigation that has one primary aim, finding the shooter. The sheriff added that investigators are not ruling out anything. But then you're going to say up here, the sheriff holds off on confirming whether race was a factor. Race was a factor. I mean, there's a serial killer out there shooting on that highway. And when it comes to us, the fuckery. It's always the fuckery. Now let me jump down a little bit because some stuff ain't necessary. So here it says, Houston activists earlier Wednesday held a news conference saying they believe the attack was racially motivated and point to a to an unsolved incident in the area in 2017 which a suspect described as white shot into a vehicle carrying at least two black people black people are being targeted in this county in this um yeah in this county um, in this country excuse me Black people are being targeted in this county. Black people are being targeted in this city, said Derek Muhammad, a activist Derek Muhammad. So we are thoroughly convinced that the killing of Jasmine Barnes was race related. Point fucking blank. Point fucking blank. I'm sick of this shit. When it comes to us, it's always some lackadaisical shit. And they all up in their motherfucking feelings because the outpouring of love of our royal daughter, Jasmine Barnes. These people ain't fooling me. I'm hip to the game. To the game. So let's not lose sight. Sheriff holds off on confirming whether race was a factor. Well, you a non-motherfucking factor. We didn't already factor that in day fucking one. Do your motherfucking job. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Y'all know exactly what's going on. This shit is sickening, my royal family. It is sickening to see us slaughtered in the streets of America. And it's sanctioned. Remember that. They take joy. Remember who's on the decline. Remember that. Stay diligent. Stay focused. Wake the fuck up. Let me get up off of here. Because I'm heated. So my real family. Render your voice. 
with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I shame.